Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk in another county in another part of the world. And today, and for the next few videos, I'm joined by the very lovely Dave Ford. Hello, Dave. Hello, Richard. Hello, everybody. And Logan. Hello, Logan. Oh. Here we are. We've got a lick. Oh, <laughs> oh, lovely. Now, Dave, whilst <laughs> Logan's gobbling up my ear. Welcome to sunny Dorset, Richard. We are in Dorset. Yeah. I'm very excited. We've trailed this on uh, numerous things that we're coming to Dorset, which is really exciting. Mm. Where in Dorset are we? I know we're on the Purbeck Hills. That's right. We're in a lovely little village called Worth Matravers, which is about four or five miles to the west of Swanage. Uh -huh. Literally, the sea is about a mile away in that direction. And we've got the Purbeck Hills directly behind us to the north. And we are in this beautiful village, which, you know, when you come into villages that are on this sort of stone, you instantly mm. see that the houses are built from the material they're sitting on. Very much so. I mean, what a lovely place to start your yeah. Bold Explorer Jurassic Tour, because it's a lovely little pond in, in the village. and um, Complete with ducks. Yes. And we've already paid a visit purely for research purposes to the local pub and had some Dorset apple cake. We did. And actually, uh, they only do pasties they do and past apple cake. But they do very nice cider. <laughs> yes. I had orange juice and lemonade, just so you know. He did, he did. In case I slur my words. Anyway, we can't sit on our bottoms no. for too much longer. We're going to head from here directly down to the coast and we're going to explore the magical place that's called Windspit Quarry. I can't wait. Which way do we go? That way. Let's go. Dave, we're just leaving the village, yep. which is behind us here, and the houses are perched there on the, the side of the hill there, yeah. with all these beautiful uh, dry stone walling around us, leading down to what is just an amazing view, the sea through the two valleys, or the two hills Again, there. Yes, we've got, uh, well you can see the sea ahead of us, and we've got two hills, the one on the uh, right is called uh, Westman, and funnily enough, the one on the left is called Eastman. Eastman. <laughs> um, interesting, just looking ahead, uh, you can see there's almost like a terracing. Effect. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I believe that's just a, a 13th century method of, of farming. Um, they used to put the terrace up, make it a little bit easier to plough the land. So, Gosh, uh, and so you, you, you casually said uh, just a 13th. I mean, that's it's <laughs> sounding to see it still there yeah. i mean obviously it's not farmed like that now no. but it's fascinating because presumably the, the terracing is there so that they can get the Oops. the horse or the oxen or whatever it is that's plowing pushing I, the plow i guess so yeah they're making use of uh, uh, as much land as they can yes um, but yes the whole area around here you probably noticed when we came through the village there was a particular type of stone that a lot of the houses were made of this is a very um, big area for quarries and go back to the 18th century uh, something like 200 quarries in the area goodness great um, gosh most of them have closed there are some still a few that, that work now but, uh, and we're going to end up in a quarry today we are yes but it's slightly well I think it's slightly different it's quite sort of atmospheric but um, I'll let you be the judge of that when we get there right oh I uh, can't wait well I hope you realize I'm being very kind with you yeah this is your first walk of the tour it's downhill right. it is downhill yes at the moment <laughs> I guess then that follows that we're going to be coming back but not this way no we're going to do a nice a, a circular route right and I think if any of the viewers are, are, are watching uh, if you're coming here uh, we're only going to have enough time today to do a sort of out and back route to the, the quarry but there are a number of nice circular routes sort of three four five miles that sort of thing yes with and lots lots of interesting features yeah. to look at and this time of year is a, is a great time to come we're you know end of may okay it's a beautiful day today but it's not too hot no and, um, not too hot not too cold and, perfect uh, you know when it gets to the heart of the summer it does get busy obviously it's a yes. popular popular area so yes 
Don't disappear down I know, that pothole. I know, you've got the nice path. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I'll let you have the yeah. path back, Dave. <laughs> wow. Wow, just look at that. The, oh my, that is amazing. It's a sort of quintessential view of the Jurassic coast with a, with a typical rock formation, lovely blue sea and the, the waves rushing it's, against It's interesting it. how the, lock, the rocks are layered, aren't they? In seams. Very much so. I mean, I'm no expert Geologist. on geology, <laughs> but obviously each layer relates to a very part of the uh, you know, thousands of years ago. I know the top sort of metre down you can sometimes see a white layer and I think that's she she shells shells is that right she shell shells she sells you know what I mean she anyway, yeah. sells the seashells shell. on the seashell um, but uh, yeah it's it, it, it always takes my breath away every time I sort of come down here it is fascinating uh, yeah it certainly is quite beautiful and this this is where boats would have come in because you can see there's marks down there. There are, yes. We're at the quarry. We are, yes. Is we're that just right? we're just about to go into Winspit Quarry. And before I do, I'll tell you a little bit of a history behind it. It's been used on a number of occasions as a, a filming location for science fiction series. For example, oh, right. um, Blake Seven I yes. think, uh, the, was used to represent the, the planet Metron 2. Uh, and I need to get this right because I know you've got a few viewers who are Doctor Who fans. Oh yes, yes. It's been used twice for Doctor Who, firstly in 1966, but slightly more recently in 1979 for a series, um, I think Destiny of the Daleks. Oh. So as we go in, Richard, yes. I want you to imagine that you're not actually on planet Earth. Okay. But you're on the planet Scaro. Scaro. Yeah. Bear with me on that. Okay, I will, I will. <laughs> Sounds very intriguing. Yeah. Shall we go? Yes, let's go. Well, it does certainly look like a different world, doesn't it? Dave? It's very atmospheric. Um, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's it's certainly different from your, your typical quarry. It, it was last used as a normal quarry, as it were, back in the 40s and 50s. And uh, the limestone rock was used to, uh, I think they used to polish it uh, so that it looked like, like marble. And there's, um, it's very, yes, evocative with these huge, um, I, I mean, you know, not, not like uh, massive cliffs, no. but they are some, some distance. No. I don't know what that is, 80, 100 foot above us. I guess so, yeah. In the distance. Sorry, there. I say. Um, uh, but there's these little um, cave. There are. Should we, uh, Should we go and have a, I'll come around this side of you and we'll go and have a little look in. Wow. Yeah. So they would have come in here and then excavated out the, uh, the stuff. Gosh, it's much bigger than I imagined. Wow, look yeah. at that. I mean, it's a super place to come if you, you know, want a family walk. It's free to get to, and the kids love this sort of thing. Yes. Yeah. Lime. And sometimes, it just goes back and sometimes back. if you can look up, you can sometimes see, you know, some uh, fossil outlines of the ammonites. You know, the um, the circular ones. Heavens. So, did they film in these bits? Yes, I've seen. Uh, if you look on YouTube, um, there's quite a few clips of... Hang on, let me come around this side <laughs> of you. We can see where you I am. use the light. Where are we? Um, yeah, I think on YouTube, uh, you, you can see some of the uh, 1979 clips. I think the TARDIS would appear just through there. I think oh. this was in the Tom Baker era. Oh, yes, and, yes. And uh, Romana, I think, was oh, the, right, uh, yes. his sidekick at the time. Gosh. Uh, it's, I mean, it's absolutely extraordinary, isn't yeah. it? It's... it's it's totally fascinating. The ceiling is, I guess, about 12 feet um, from the ground here. And these vast pillars, if I come around here, great big uh, bits of stone, which I assume they just didn't quarry out. I think... Um, rather than put them in, do you yeah. think? Yeah. With a little bit of graffiti yeah. on them. It's amazing. This is a, a staggering find isn't it and it's it's hard to imagine men working down here but clearly i mean it must have taken this out with machines because you can almost see on the side machine marks yeah it's damp isn't it yeah. i put my hand on there and that was yeah, coming through, coming through the, and this <laughs> the temperature's dropped well it's noticeable it, it must be about 20 degrees literally 30 yards out there but it, it really does feel it's quite gone down to about 14 quite or cool something. in here 
uh, there's cracks in the ceiling <laughs> and you do have to be a little bit brave to to think it's not all going to tumble down on you but um there's some rock climbers just over there we have spotted a few small little fossil shapes in the roof haven't we yeah yeah, yeah. it's they're so small though aren't they too mm. um i was going to say there's some there's some rock climbers so this is obviously a, a a haven for that sort of thing yeah we've come outside and by golly it's nice to warm up again it is oh my nose was getting quite cold <laughs> in uh, in that cave <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely but, uh, uh you were going to tell me about puffins well, just, and bats yeah uh, well a lot of the caves around here you'll find are um partially blocked up or you'll see some 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 cages for the bats basically right um i think from the top of my head it's the uh, the greater horseshoe bat and the mouse-eared bat are the two bats that you get around this neck of the woods oh, it's okay. a good place of bats and i do keep looking up in the air from time to time just to see if i can spot any puffins you didn't i didn't know puffins you... would could come down this far yeah, south they particularly, do uh, later on in the week we'll be going to dancing ledge and particularly around that cliff area there's a lot of them um i am told that there are some here but they're obviously having a lie in today right oh, <laughs> and sometimes enough. depending on what time of the year looking at the sea um you do get dolphins from time to time uh, passing Gosh. by but I think it's probably still too cold for them at the moment yes um there's a there's another cave that's uh, got my eye here and i know you've already oh, been in yes, because yes. it's got some very spindly little columns that seem to be propping up so they're going to risk life and limb well if, to you, go if in. you've ever played that game of jenga yes uh, oh, thanks this is the, this is almost this a lifestyle version yeah okay let's go in this one yeah in we go let's see how much we can see in the darkened area And there we go. Oh, there's some other people down here, which is a little bit spooky. The camera's pointing the wrong way for the moment. I'm just taking a little step back into the very bowels of this place. And then if I sweep round, you should get an indication of some of these, these tiny little columns, which actually are blocks, which is curious, as if they've been stacked up one on top of the other and jammed in against the the roof to stop presumed to stop a collapse although here worryingly uh, one has fallen in <laughs> but uh, fortunately the roof is still there so that that's pretty good um this one here you could almost feel you could touch it and fall over don't you? oh yeah. yeah yeah do you want to give it a try uh i'll uh, let you to it i'll carry on out here if you don't <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to give that a miss there's quite a tonnage <laughs> resting above me. Dave is out, out there on the ledge by the looks of things. Don't jump, Dave. I keep you hold of Logan. I think we're perilously oh, yeah. close to the cliff edge. Here. My goodness. How about that? Now, how brave. Not very brave, to be honest with you. This is quite a craggy um coastline here but uh, the views back are just astounding they're just incredible yeah. this is the dorset coast and we we have so luckily picked a good day it's lovely we? isn't it yeah it yeah. is amazing <coughs> well dave we've run out of time hello logan give us a lick yes there we are <laughs> lovely Bit of salt on the top of my head we've run out of time dave we have i'll just put him down so we yes <laughs> marvelous uh what a fascinating and interesting walk thank you so much for bringing me here well, it's been a lovely start hasn't it it has yeah. and the, the coast just looks the, such a terrific color mm. the rocks are the per are the perbeck rocks of the perbeck hills i can't wait to explore more brilliant so that's fantastic yeah. so thank you so much for watching there are more of these we're going to make uh, so don't forget to follow, like and subscribe, become a patron and all those usual things. And Dave and I will see uh, you on the next one. I, What's the matter? I thought I heard someone say, exterminate. Oh no, you mean the Daleks are still here? Run! <laughs>